something a little bit different tonight. I was sat watching TV, bored out my head and I thought right I'm gonna go see if we can catch some squid. So we've come down to a part of uh, the Portsmouth Harbour where we this time of year we should start seeing some squid. It's gonna be a hit or miss. They've been getting them out on the boats uh, and there's been one or two caught here and there but if we catch it right we've got a perfect tide for it. We should find a few. Um, what I'll do is I'll get set up. Once I'm set up and down in the mark, I'll show you what we're using um, to, to catch a squid and, and the methods we're going to use. Um, and fingers crossed we can find some fish. So uh, stay tuned and we'll see what we can do. Just run through the simple methods we use here. All I've done is I've made up a little standoff rig, a little loop rig. The lead, I always fish, oops, drop that. I always fish with a little lead on the bottom. And then the squid jigs. This is what we use to catch the squid. All I do is I just loop them on. Can't see that. I just loop them on to these. I normally fish one at the bottom, one at the top, and then just jig them down the side of the pier. magic we're in the kitchen now it is the next day last night we caught three squid and a cuttlefish um, these are the squid that we caught not massive ones but they're not small they're gonna be delicious what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook them up in a stir up beer batter now what we're gonna need for this is plain flour Ginger powder, ground ginger, uh, hot paprika, garlic granules, black pepper, salt, and a little bit of um, sesame oil. Now, I'll get these prepped, we'll get them cut, and we'll make the batter. Right, 
we're winging this. I've never done this method before. So we're gonna have a bit of flour. Bit of gar um, sorry, a bit of ginger, ground ginger. Bit of hot paprika. Bit of garlic. And some black pepper. Then we're gonna add a little bit of sesame oil. Give that a mix. A little bit of sesame oil, not much. A few little dashes, it's very strong. And then, beer. And we'll give that a stir nice and slowly. You don't want to knock all of the air out of the beer, you see. Well, a little bit more. Just keep adding little bits until we've got a nice batter texture. Oh, that smells nice. That's it, that's the sort of texture you want. Right, squid goes in and then we'll take it to the pan. You wanna be quick with this. It's hard to do with one hand. Look at that frying up. Get it good? That is beautiful, crispy beer battered squid. 